In today's video by The Daily Eco, we'll reveal everything you need to know about the difference between plant food and fertilizer. So, let's get started. Difference between plant food and fertilizer. Plant food refers to natural, organic or inorganic products that enhance soil and crop nutrients. Fertilizers, on the other hand, are synthetic products devised by humans, primarily composed of macronutrients. Nowadays, chemical-based fertilizers are way more common posing risks to the environment and to our health. Nonetheless, there are organic alternatives, including homemade options. Types of plant food. All types of plant food serve the purpose of enriching the soil with nutrients that will ultimately nourish the plants through their roots. Manure is a widely utilized form of plant food particularly in rural regions, due to its straightforward acquisition. It's often available at reasonable prices from nearby farms, and it can also be generated if you possess animals yourself. Manure originates from the excrement of animals such as cows, horses, sheep, or virtually any other type of livestock. Compost is a very popular type of plant food that many people use at home. It's easy to make if you have some space using leftover organic materials from your home and garden. Making good compost takes time and a little practice, but it's one of the best ways to recycle household waste in an environmentally friendly manner. But before we continue, let us put you to the test. Determine whether the following statement is true. Plant food supplies nutrients to the soil whereas fertilizer exclusively nourishes the plant. True, false. Think about it carefully because at the end of the video you can check if you were right. Worm castings, also known as vermicompost, represent potent plant nutrients generated by worms as they break down organic matter. This mixture is enriched with essential nutrients and beneficial microorganisms that promote plant growth. It is available for purchase or it can be produced through vermicomposting, a process you can set up at home. Chicken manure or poultry manure is essentially the waste produced by chickens. It contains a diverse range of nutrients such as sulfur, nitrogen, potassium, calcium, magnesium and phosphorus. Additionally, applying the Japanese bokashi technique allows for the efficient conversion of chicken manure, rice husks, soil and charcoal into a potent plant nutritional source. Equally noteworthy are mineral-based plant nutrients, derived from minerals rather than from animal or plant sources. Despite their non-organic origin, these products remain entirely natural and ecologically sustainable. Types of fertilizers When it comes to fertilizers, a key distinction lies in the separation between natural or organic fertilizers and chemical fertilizers. Synthetic or chemical fertilizers, commonly utilized in extensive agricultural practices, are synthetically engineered to deliver specific sets of macronutrients required by plants. Often referred to as agrochemicals, these synthetic fertilizers pose environmental hazards, potentially contaminated groundwater and even larger bodies of water such as rivers thereby posing severe threats to the environment. Organic fertilizers. Despite all fertilizers being man-made, not all carry detrimental effects. Organic fertilizers serve the same function as synthetic ones, differing in their application methods, typically being directly administered to crops or even introduced into irrigation systems. Craft from natural ingredients, organic fertilizers are designed to minimize harm to the environment. And going back to the question we asked you earlier, have you thought it through? The correct answer is B. Although plant food is initially applied to the soil, it indirectly benefits the plant by nourishing it 
through its roots. Furthermore, even if the fertilizer is directly introduced to the plant via irrigation, a good portion of it naturally ends up in the soil due to the effects of gravity and environmental elements. Well, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to write questions or suggestions in the comments section below and see you next time.